Hello everyone, this video is aimed at describing how we print dental models vertically. First and foremost, we're going to go ahead and open up my Mesh Mixer software. My Mesh Mixer software is going to open up to our default window. When I click on the Import button, it's going to open up my folder that I have my dental model in place. First and foremost, I'm just going to click my ST model, which is the patient that we're going to be demonstrating. When I click the Import or the Open button. Once the model is opened up, the most important thing is, is, is that if I open this under the preform software, this is going to show you the default orientation for this particular print. I'm going to enter in my Form 2 printer, Gray Resin V3, and click the Apply button. When I go ahead and click and drag this model into my preform software, you're going to notice here that it's going to just go ahead and default straight to the base. As I showed you already, we can go ahead and click on this select base button, verify that it is printing down at the base. Now if I took that and tried to reorient that vertically, even if I clicked on one of these where it says select the base, it's not going to know how to find the proper base. If I click here or I click there, the model is just going to dance around. Then if I go ahead and just reorient this patient model, this will not print properly because I have this gap space underneath here. So what I found is the best way to do this is to go ahead and do this in the Mesh Mixer software. First and foremost, we have to turn on our grid. And then it also helps to turn on the view show printer bed. This particular software works best by showing this printer bed because just the grid can get you turned around. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to orient this dental model so that way it's more or less printing directly on this print platform where it says MakerBot Replicator. I have my model selected. I hit the T button on my keyboard. And then what I want to do is I want to go ahead and bring my model up so that way the base here is more or less parallel with that surface. Just like that. And also the occlusal surface is perpendicular. And I hit the accept button. Once I've done that, I can go ahead and then turn off my grid or my printer bed or both. What I like to do for this particular task is leave my grid on there, but turn off my printer bed because it allows me to visually see underneath the model. Step number one is as we hit the select button. I draw down my size to about 40 and I left click on the flat portions of my dental model. Once I've selected enough of that uh, portion of the dental model, I then go ahead and I hit the Edit Extrude button. When I do that, it's going to bring up a dialog box. This dialog box is going to let me change some of these settings. And you'll notice that as I move it up and down, it's going to extrude a portion of this dental model. All I want to do is, is extrude just enough that it comes straight through this little grid line right in here. And how I go ahead and I more or less tweak the system is, is if I just extruded it looking like this, it also just will not print properly. And the reason for that is, is, is that I have a direction constant and an end type offset. The first thing I want you to do is click on this end type and click flat. And it's going to make it flat. Now this still won't print properly because if I imported this into my preform software, it's going to have this portion flat and this portion not touching. The reason why we already oriented the model, meaning that we moved it so that way it's vertically on top of this grid, is so I can change my direction type right here. This direction type clicks from this to the Y axis. And when I do that, sometimes it disappears here. All that we need to do is, is change our offset to a negative number. And now it's going to go ahead and be solid. Really, really nice. Sometimes what happens here is, is you'll notice that I've extruded two very nice flat portions, but one is a little bit longer than the other. What you can do at this point is click on this Edit, 
plane cut button and then I draw a line corresponding with that grid line. And what that's going to do is, is it's going to cut a line straight through that portion of the object. But you'll notice that my model is grayed out and these portions are visible. All I do is, is I hit this little up arrow right here and what it's going to do is it's going to make that perfectly flat there. And now what I want to do is, is click the accept button. You'll see that we have these windows open up right here. If I click on the analysis inspector button and then I click the auto repair all button, it'll go ahead and just fill those portions in on my model. Once it's filled in on my model, you'll see here that it's asking me to make sure that everything here looks great. And I've gone ahead and done that. I'm just going to go ahead and click the done button. And now I can verify that my bottom portion is completely flat. If I went ahead and clicked on view, show printer bed, it'll look like it's extremely flat. Now don't get disconcerned when you see that because it really is perfect because this is just a little bit above the print platform right here. What I'm going to do now at this point is just come up here to where it says file export and I'm going to go ahead and save that here under my models folder. ST model vertical. It's going to export this file and now I can go ahead and reopen up my preform software. Click on models and bring in my vertical one by left clicking and dragging onto my preform software. And you'll see it compared to the original model. See how it wants to still put it flat? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this one over to the side just a touch. I'm going to left click on my new vertical model, click on my orientation little button over here, and then click on the base of it right there. And now you'll notice there's a big difference between these two models. This model here, let me bring it over so you can see. This model here does not have these flat portions that we just extruded, where the new model that I brought in has these very flat portions here and here. Now I can get rid of this one and show you that it's very easy to go ahead and 3D print this now. When I click on the print button, it's going to then use the bottom of those newly extruded little bases right in here. And as I slide through my print, you'll see here that layer number one is the two of these little spots together. As I continue to slide through, it's going to build my dental model vertically. And then when it starts to get towards the anterior teeth, it'll join them together to build my dental model. After doing this, you'll see here that this is a pretty nice vertical orientation. If I wanted to replicate this multiple times, as if I want to do this for a training course, all I need to do is come up to here where it says edit, and then just go ahead and click the duplicate selected button. And I can do that a bunch of times over and over and over again, just having some fun with this. Moving those around, and just as a shortcut, the control D button will duplicate. You now this is kind of a quick, easy way of learning how to print your models vertically. You can play with this, whether it's with a dental model or a surgical guide. The simple combination of the extrude button in MeshMixer will allow you to go ahead and maximize your build plate.